warning tonight to be on the lookout. Gunmen have been targeting people as they arrive home. We're talking about couples, men, women. It doesn't matter. Welcome to News 8 at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm Jason Wheeler in for Marie Saavedra tonight. We are talking about attack after attack here. They've been happening all over Dallas. Just check out the map there. You can see where they've happened. Eight armed robberies just since November 30th. The latest one happening on Friday night. David Goins is live tonight and David, uh, this has gone right to the top of the police department as well. The chief herself is now in on this case. That's right, Jason. We know tonight that police chief Renee Hall has met one on one with at least one of these victims in these armed robberies, a sign of how serious these assaults are as neighborhoods work to beef up their security. There are certainly no visible signs now, but what detectives say happened on Lano Avenue Friday night, one Dallas couple will never forget. According to DPD, multiple armed suspects approached a man as he got out of his car on his own driveway. Then they forced him at gunpoint into his home and robbed him. Everyone should be concerned right now. That's because City Council member Adam Madrano knows the attack is not isolated to just one lower Greenville home. Detectives believe the same suspects may be behind eight armed attacks of people just trying to walk from their driveway back inside. We want to make sure that everybody feels safe in their home, you know, walking home, coming home. This was at their at their home at their house. Investigators believe the attack started November 30th. Two days later, here on Cabell, just east of 75 in Lemon, two people were robbed at gunpoint and then forced back into their home. We've met with uh, one of the victims, uh, Chief Hall. I asked her to meet with the victims we have. Medrano says that meeting Wednesday with Chief Renee Hall and one of the victims led to immediate increased patrols and this, the placement of a 360 degree camera nearby. And he adds that is just what neighbors can see. Uh, there's uh, police, there's some obvious ones, and there's some that aren't as obvious uh, that are in the, in the neighborhood. So we're just trying to do everything we can to um, put these guys in jail. And tonight, police believe the suspects are between the ages of 17 and 20 years old and will be driving some combination of a four-door black Cadillac sedan and or a gold pickup truck. We're live tonight. David Goins, Channel 8 News. Thanks.